Vacation's over, Joey boy. Yeah, man, I know. You don't have to keep pestering me about it. It's not like you were vibing with the games Obama was showing us anyways. You were always complaining like the boomer you are. At least I got a little break from Hector death mode. You know you can hand the save over to me if you don't want to play it anymore, right? I don't want to force you to play it if you don't want to, homie. Oh, hell no. He's going to play this thing till the end. Nah, don't worry about it. I got this. Well then, what's your strategy going to be for this one? As usual, I'm going to run to these two villages and save them. After that, uh, no idea. I guess we'll have to find out. You know you're going to get Lynn back on this chapter, right? She'll be right next to that village in the southeast from what I remember. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I low-key need those reinforcements for real. This chapter's filled with enemies. You're finally going to witness how busted Lynn is in this rebalance patch. Is she really that much stronger here? Yep. Her base stats got buffed a little bit and her levels did her well too. And that's not to mention the extra crit chance she'll get upon promotion. Yeah, I remember you guys mentioning that Lynn's actually decent here. It's a welcome change to be honest. She was low-key trashed here in the base game. What's going to be your team for this one then? For real, I wanted to get the low-level guys back on track because they're trailing pretty hard XP-wise. Elliewood is level 6 while most of the team is almost 10. But man, I can't really bring more sword units to the table here. I saw pretty much no axe fighters and a lot of lancers, so they'll be just useless. Matthew and Lynn will make do being the only two sword units. Who cares about Elliewood anyways? Better just leave him to rot on the bench. Elliewood is Fire Emblem 7's Dolph for you, isn't he? Yeah, man. He's Dolph, but with a sword. No cap, the amount of hardships I had to go through because of this guy's incompetence is enormous. You have no idea. To be honest, homie, I think you should consider benching some units already. I understand that the XP intake is pretty high so far, but I can see you struggling later on, just like Donald did when he played the swing and sword. Better to bench these guys now than to have them steal XP just to become useless in the future. Nah, man. If things continue as they are, then XP will never be a problem here. The amount of enemies I'm having to fight every chapter is more than enough to keep literally all my units overleveled. And man, not gonna lie, but I don't see a truly useless character so far. All of them have been having at least a decent performance till now, so I don't see much reason to bench anyone yet. Oh, I have to disagree with that one. Elliewood would be an easy bench for me. Oh no, don't bench Elliewood. I'm pretty sure that he'll be a mandatory unit for a few chapters in the future. Still, you've already noticed that sword units are lagging behind in XP since you ain't using them so frequently. And you must be aware that swords will become increasingly useless over time. If they're lagging now, imagine how they'll be in the future. Nah, man, I want to give them a chance. Their levels have been pretty solid so far. Who knows, maybe they'll become a menace later on. Don't know about that one, homie, but you do you. Right, let's get to it then. There she is, the thigh queen. All right, let's see what she's got. Gonna have to buy an iron sword for her. Whoa, damn, what the fuck? See, told you she was strong here? She hasn't lagged in strength at all and is almost speed capped. That's huge. Yep, and the others ain't doing bad either. Will's getting a bit on the slow side, but his strength is pretty high. He'll do well on Manning Ballastay. Kent isn't doing that well though, which is very funny. He started off really strong, was the best on the team for a while even, but his last levels were mostly garbage. He fell off like a pre-promote basically. Yeah, I can see that. Sane's doing much better in overall. Kent's strength is unbelievably bad, though. Sure, I know he isn't meant to be the strong cavalier, but Seven is just ridiculous. Even Florina will be dealing more damage than him at this rate. She already is, actually. Wait, really? Yeah, go see for yourself. She's with the other team. Gotta buy her an Iron Lance, too. Wait, what the fuck? She is dealing more damage than Kent. You weren't lying. Told you, man, she just loses to him on defense. The rest is either equal to or better than him. She's a flying Kent on steroids, then. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, actually. That's crazy, though. I've honestly never seen such a weak Kent till now. To be honest, my experience with Kent isn't necessarily the best. He always falls off a little bit and ends up being the weakest Cavalier, losing even to Isadora when promoted at 20 sometimes. I truly thought he was going to be different this time because his initial levels were really good, leaving Sane behind. But man, his last like five levels were legit useless, gave him nothing. That's kind of sad. I wanted to see Kent shine at least once. Me too, bro. Anyway, since I have a very overpowered Florina at my disposal, I guess I'll just use her to block all these dudes coming from the east. I'm pretty sure she'll manage. That's very dangerous, homie. 
Sure, I think she'll do fine against these incoming enemies, but I doubt she'll be able to double all the Pegasi. Her strength is good, but her speed is lacking for a Pegasus. Also, you will be forced to draw her back if that archer comes into play, leaving your entire team open for the surviving Pegasus. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I really need to put a lot of pressure on the center of the map in order to open the way to the villages I gotta save. Putting Florina there is the way to do it, I guess. Joey boy using some advanced Fire Emblem vocabulary, huh? Putting pressure and whatnot. Yeah, he's been studying Fire Emblem tactics for the past two weeks, I see. Nah, man, it's just some basic chess logic that I'm applying here is all. Wait, do you play chess? Nah, man, it's because I've watched some chess memes and live streams, so I've learned a concept here and there. Imagine Joe playing chess. He'd be on the bottom 10% rating for sure. Probably better than you, Donnie boy. Your e-tactics says a lot about you. As if you're gonna get a better tactics rating than me, Joey boy. And I probably will. Yeah, we'll see about that. Bro, did you really put Bartra within the Merc's range? Uh, whoops. You're really lucky that the game's stupid when calculating your tactics rating. That play's worthy of an F rating. Uh, yeah, it was a sad misplay, but it's fine. He hit the Merc and dealt more damage than he took. That's because you're lucky. Nah, man. This playthrough made me lose my trust in RNG. The amount of times I've missed in the previous chapters has been ridiculous, and you know it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Either way, the strat's doing well so far. Just gotta see how Florina will handle the incoming Pegasi now. Nice, one of them got downed at least. We still don't know if that archer's gonna move though, homie. Yeah, but to be honest, I'm not really worried about him. It's that thief in the south that's worrying me more. Hopefully he won't just rush to some village. And all cavaliers started moving already. That's a lot of enemies you're gonna have to fight at the same time. Yeah, that's why Russian Florina to the center was ideal, cause she lured a lot of guys there, opening the way to the villages while also clearing the most hostiles that I can before even more enemy reinforcements arrive. Yeah, yeah, that was a good play. Thanks for giving me such an OP will, though. He helped a lot here. Oh, he took the bait after all. Yep, now the path to the villages is indeed clear. Well played, homie. Everything went out smoothly. Except for that Bartra mistake, of course. Yeah, that one was a silly little mistake. I totally forgot that there were mercs down there. The good thing, though, is that the archer didn't move, so the team will be fine for at least a little while more. I'm low-key worried about that thief, though. I don't know if I'll be able to kill him now because I have more important targets to deal with. Hopefully he won't do some stupid shit. Wait, what the fuck? Oswin had a torch? It's probably been with him for a few chapters now. Funny that the thief focused on stealing your shit, though. Nice crit, by the way, Marcus. Nah, he was gonna double that brigand anyways. Marcus is a monster. Nothing was lost there. Yeah, that's true. Too bad I didn't notice that I had put him within that brigand's range. It's not that it matters much anyways. Everyone here is overleveled. At least now I'll be able to get both villages without much hassle. First village down. And finally, the second village. This chapter was pretty smooth, wasn't it? Yeah, it seemed much more intimidating at first, but it's quite manageable, actually. It's not over yet, though. Forgot about the several Cavaliers collapsing on Florina already? It's fine. I've checked them against her, and she'll do just fine. Well then, let's see it. Nice. You better hope she doesn't crit, though. Whew, she didn't. Nice! There we go, girl. Your Florina is putting in some work, isn't she? Yeah, man. This flying Kent on steroids is wrecking everybody. She has potential of becoming the playthrough's MVP at this rate. Nah, I think Rebecca's gonna claim that title. She's just insane. Yo, I forgot that Bada was gonna spawn here. Yep, and right next to Lin, who recruits him. I heard he sucks, though. Maybe you'll be better off just killing him. Nah, I'm gonna give him a chance. He's a brigand after all. Having a unit that can climb peaks is always nice. I think you'll be wasting XP on him because his growth rate is straight up garbage, but it's as you said. You're already on an XP surplus anyways. Maybe he'll surprise us after all. His base stats ain't bad, to be completely honest. Still, let's see how he'll do. Well, not the best, but not the worst. He at least got strength, which is the most important, I guess.
okay, just like the previous one, but with skill. And honestly, he kind of needs luck anyway, so it's not a waste of a stat. I think I'll be keeping him after all. He did just fine, I guess. Yeah, I have to agree with you. He was fairly decent here. Just got to hope that he keeps it up, right? Yeah, hopefully he won't fall off. Oh, by the way, have I told you guys who Lynn's support will be? It won't be Bada, will it? Nah, man, I'd even forgotten that he was a playable character here. Sit tight, though. You'll soon find out. Kent, really? Yep, really. Well, it's not a fan favorite, but I'll approve that one. At least it's not as infernal as Hector Serra. Are the bonuses worth it, though? Kinda. It was an odd mix. The stats were all over the place. They max out damage, though, which is vital for both of them, in my opinion. Why not Wrath, though? Wrath would indeed max crit rate, but then would lose damage. To be honest, I'd rather have flat damage than max crit for Lin. It's not like the Kent support won't give crit, though. It does, it's just not maxed. All right, fair enough. Anyways, time to get the boss. But what the fuck is this? Yeah, Rebecca's just straight up insane. Legit the best character you have as of now. Not to mention that her support with Lowen also gives her a lot of extra stuff. Yeah, man, it's insane. Nice flex. Now to finish him off. Bam, GG's boys. This one probably was the smoothest chapter so far, right? Yep, I legit had fun playing this one.